Welcome to today's video. Today we are going to make photo cards. I'm going to show you guys how I make photo cards. You don't have to make it this way, but I'm going to show you how I make it. Uh, before we get started, I don't normally make videos like this, so my explanation might be all over the place. So I tried writing down a couple things that I should go over. So we're making photo cards. What you guys need will be... Actually, I'll show you guys what it looks like first. So this is how I make them. The face striking. Stop face striking. There you go. So this is how it looks. You guys can use uh, thicker paper. I like to use thinner because I put it on the back of my phone. So these are a lot thinner than normal photo cards because I wouldn't really want to be putting my photo cards at the back of my phones to display them. Uh, so I have thinners. If you guys want to make thinner ones or thicker ones and use a double side, you can. And I kind of know how to make double sided. Uh, I just don't like to because when I use the Cricut, the sticky part will stick to the back and sometimes leaves a residue on the back of the card for the double sided one. So if you guys decide to do a double sided one, I would recommend putting another sheet of paper under it so it doesn't stick to that. And then you just tape the top of the paper to the Cricut. All right, what you need is an editor, like Photoshop, Procreate, whatever you're more comfortable with. I'm gonna be showing you guys with Photoshop because I'm more comfortable with Photoshop. You need a printer, a good printer, a photo printer. You can't just use any printer. You need a Cricut. It's a Cricut video, basically. And a photo paper of your choice. This is Cola, the Koala, and it's ultra premium. So it looks a little matted when um, when you print them. So it's not as glossy. I don't really like too much of the glossy one. And then you choose the thickness of what you like. That is preference and also depending on your printer. When I print on thicker paper, it kind of leaves, it leaves lines of the wheels. So I don't like using thicker paper. The printer I have, it's an Epson printer. Uh, I could go with a better one, but for right now, I'm just going to keep using that because I already have it. I'm going to show you guys, well, I'm going to try to show you guys step by step and hopefully I don't forget anything in the middle. Oh, you also need for the Cricut, I don't know if you can have it, you could probably have it hooked up and then cut it. I have it through a Bluetooth piece. Uh, I have Bluetooth on my computer, but it didn't work. So we have to buy an extra Bluetooth piece because I don't want to run a cord to my computer and then to the Cricut because they're generally not in the same area so i like it farther away all right one more thing before we get started me perfecting it to how i like it now took me about three weeks i will show you how i adjust throughout but i already have my layout um other printers might not be the same how it prints so you might have to adjust from your perspective but i'm going to show you guys on Photoshop, what I've done and how I adjusted to it. Also, I will link everything that I use down below. All right, so you're gonna start off with a sheet of paper, 8.5 to 11 inches with 300 resolution. This will be your size of your paper. First, you will need to make the insert of how Cricut is gonna cut your paper, or cut your photo cards. So you need to find your dimensions that you would like so how I make my card, this is all preference. If you want your photo card bigger, smaller, I'm just gonna do it real quick to show you. You're gonna need to get another layer. So press the plus sign, get another layer, get your rectangle tool, and this will all be preference depending on the size. So you would want to select an area of your sizing, make it black so it's easier pick the rectangle tool and depending on how much of a roundness you want you would the higher the number the more round the corners will be so I'm going to show you 10% 10% is nothing if you do 45 it will be more round on the corners 
and then I'll just show you some ridiculous number like 99 or something and it's gonna be more even more round you would just play around with that one I'm gonna let you know now that you're gonna waste a lot of papers I would just practice cutting over and over you just find the shape that you want and after when you have this sh the sizing you want just click out and you can pull it out what I would do now is get rid of the first layer layer one and this one I would open another layer because I don't know how to get out of the rectangle thing and you would just merge this layer with the blank layer so now it doesn't have that selection go to your selection tool and just select everything if you don't have this extra layer and you merge it to your background it will select everything including the background so you kind of just want this one included so I'm gonna show you what mine looks like if you guys want to copy my layout that is okay but pause if you like I have my photos larger than the cut itself so if your photo card is say two inches you would have your photo a little bit larger than two inches I have mine three across and three under because that's how much it would fit I have mine you're gonna have to play around with Cricut as well Cricut when you have it on the line when you put your paper on the line it actually doesn't cut the furthest on the line it actually has a small gap and then that's where it cuts so Cricut will actually cut like two ticks away I'm not very good with math and a ruler so it will be two ticks away I have mine two ticks off my photo cards are about two inches and two ticks and then uh, the long ways I think it's three and five ticks so three inches and five ticks so this is where you get your photo card you select one of these copy do your measurements I have mine equally separated from here left and right so there's a enough gap you would place your photo card to your inches and sizes that you want make sure it's the size that you would like if all your if you want to move everything not everything and only one length at a time press one of the sides press shift and it won't move everything just one side so you just do something like this like that and like that I would just copy this you want it in the center because that's where it's going to be cutting you would copy this paste and then have it aligned if you have Photoshop it will assist you with the lines and you just keep doing it then you move it to the area that you would like make sure you play around with it a little bit practice cutting before you on regular paper before you start wasting photo paper and what you would do is once you have all those uh, black inserts you would just save it like this right now and then you would go into the Cricut app you would go to new project upload you would upload one of your the layout that you have when you're for some reason when you insert it into Cricut even though you have all your sizings correct this is this is why I tell you to uh, play around with it because inside Cricut you will have to adjust so when it's like this when you insert it in here it will expand it by like 500 times like it will be very big so you just make it to the size that you would want it doesn't matter where it is on here that's not where it's going to be placed when you cut it when you actually go in to cut it this is where it matters on the cut 
So if you place your cut on three, it will start cutting from the three. If you have it over here, this will this is where it starts cutting. So if you have your border, your paper all the way to the edge, it won't cut at the edge because you'll see the small gap. And that's where I tell you that you need to start playing around with it. When you put it onto the board, it has to be exact, not exact, but pretty much almost the same all the time. So the cut will be the same. So once you have your cut and you have the positioning on where you like, that's when I start making grids that are bigger than the cards itself. Once you have the grid, it will be easier to place photos inside the grid. So we'll do J from in hyphen. Well, not just in hyphen. If you guys are going to go watch in hyphen. That concert, we are too. If you have photos bigger than the selected area, say like this, this is where I know when I have the measurements of the squares, where I know I can just cut it. So I don't have to like remember my sizing. So I don't have to remember the sizing and I could just insert it right away. And it'll just be as simple as that. So then we're going to get this printed. Also, when you print, when you print on your printer, 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 printer settings, you would have the document size portrait. I use ultra premium photo paper glossy. It will print slower, but it's I feel like that's just better. If you have these kind of paper, you could do that too. One more thing. Um, when you do go in and upload your photo of your cuts, this will be your cut, you will need to select cut only and then it will forever only cut. Don't pick print and cut because when you print it actually from Cricut, it will print a low quality photo and I don't know how I personally don't know how to uh, make it print in high resolution so just print separately and then you can just use it for cutting only so once you get your paper make sure make sure you put it on the right side because I've done the wrong side before some photo paper will have the name on the back of it if you guys decide to do a double-sided one uh, it will be easier because it's double sided. And when you put it in, make sure you have the sizing correct. So let's see what it looks like. So that's how the photo will turn out and then I will we'll get a cut. So also another thing, if you have a brand new sheet, it will stick like crazy. So I would recommend you to get a sheet of paper and maybe go over a little bit at times just so you could get the sticky. You could get the sticky less sticky, but still it's too sticky for paper and it will warp your cards. If you want to unwarp it yourself, you can. I don't even think this is the one that I use. This is not the one that I use. This is my old one. This is the one that I use. When you guys peel this off, another tip is the side that you just, that was on the sticky side. I would not rest that side on the table just so you don't get it dirty. So my sheet, I put it at the corner on the line, a little bit on the line and to the right of it. And then the top on this side right here can go over the line a little bit so this is what it looks like so when you guys have your Cricut make sure you have enough space in the back because the board will come back first also I forgot to mention forgot to mention I'm not gonna record on my computer but you will need to select the pressure that you like. 
depending on the size and thickness of your photo paper. I have it on default. So once you select your pressure, you will push in your, your sheet, let go of it, press that, it will eat your paper. And if it doesn't take it in, you just tap it a little, you just tap a little bit and then it will pull it. Wait for your computer to say it's good to go. It says it's good to go and you will press play so it can do your cut. too high. And then you will eject, comes out. My bottom one, because I did go over two slanted, uh, my bottom one has whiting on the bottom. So you pretty much just adjust the paper a little bit. If it consistently cuts off and you're always placing the paper at the right spot, then you would just go into your photo editing and you would shift the photos over a little bit. So you don't have to shift the cut because it's more annoying to shift the cut than shift the photos. If it's a fresh mat, you are gonna have a lot harder time to try to peel it off because everything will stick. I like to pull it one way and then if anything gets stuck, you can always cut it off after. So this one is a little has pieces of paper, but it will come right off and then you can just shave off the rest. For this, I like to, I don't like to nick from the middle because you can kind of see it from the top. I like to go very close diagonally into the corner so I can get a little bit of it. When I pick up from the corner, I will scrape this across just to get some air in it and then you can pull it right out. And even though they are custom, I still like to put them in sleeves. They are thinner, so they will bend a little bit. Just like that. All right, that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you guys can, it will help me out. If you guys subscribe, press the thumbs up and that is it for the video if you guys want to watch the rest of the video you guys can it's just cutting out the photo cards